Hello everybody, today we are going to unbox this monitor. I made some research and I uh, wanted a big 49 inch uh, super wide, ultra wide screen. And um, I ended up buying this one for 950 and uh, I found uh, the best deal was on Amazon. First I looked at LG, but LG was like 60 Hertz and like more expensive. And um, I, I looked at Samsung and I liked 120 Hertz, even though I will, I'll be using it for work rather than for gaming. Um, 120 Hertz is nice, like 60 is like kind of old. And um, between these three models, uh, these three, uh, I think this one is, uh, is a much better deal than the other two. Uh, while uh, this one is, I think, 4 millisecond response time and 120 Hertz, this one... And uh, this one uses mini LED technology, which is something new, something supposedly better. Uh, both of these are 240 Hertz and one millisecond, but um, four millisecond is already pretty good, especially for uh, non-gaming as I'm gonna be using it for work. I'm gonna be dividing this screen into several. I couldn't justify spending more. I think 950 is a good deal and uh, the other two, they are a little bit better, but a lot more expensive. We can see the specs on Samsung side. It's a 120 Hertz, this good thing, QLED, uh, like all the good stuff. Let's go forward. Uh, let's go forward. This is the monitor. It's from 2019. It's pretty old kind of. So it's uh, 1440p and uh, over here it's like 5K right it's uh, like two 27 inch monitors side by side except for this is one monitor some good stuff over here you know uh, 1000 uh, nits uh, brightness this is awesome this is very very good very very good i deal with a lot of laptops and laptops i usually like 250 or something um, 120 Hertz definitely better 60 is uh, is not so good for anything with uh, with a lot of motion mm, 60 is kind of like acceptable right now it's kind of like okay it's only 60 but you gotta do 120 right now 120 144 like something like that Tells you a few things here and there. So it's like two monitors, 16 to nine, right? So it's like two regular monitors side by side. Tells you you can move it like this, like that. Here we can see some more. This is dimensions weight we stand 32 pounds so it's like 15 kilogram or so we see here a huge box with a monitor i've just opened it and that's what we have inside so this is obviously a stand a bunch of other things okay so this will hold the monitor. And here, uh, this looks like some kind of back cover. And here, I uh, have the cords here too. Why do we have so many cords? We have four cords. I'm not sure what this one is for. Okay, this one, HDMI, we're not gonna use it. This one, display port. We're using this one, and this is power cord, all with the Samsung special wrapping. This is what we got after unpacking everything. Uh, so this is this is the stand. This is this attaches here, right? This is probably the back cover. This two things uh, I'll have to figure. Four cords, as I showed you before, and. Uh, quick start guy warranty so it comes with us warranty one year warranty from the date of purchase
And here we have the big boy. Let's take a look at the ports on the back. So I'm covering the serial number. We have here four USB A's. Then we have here this uh, for that weird cable says PC in. Then um, headphone and microphone. Then we have uh, two display ports and one HDMI port. And the power over there. I tried to follow the instructions. So first thing uh, I screwed uh, this thing into the monitor and then it's kind of easy to put this inside there to cover the screws and stuff and after that i screwed in this part and then here we have the monitor it's huge the power cord is a bit short so i decided not to use this and uh, this is this i believe for wall mount and I'm not sure about this part. Anyway, so I have three parts that are left over. This is my setup. My table no longer seems that big. And uh, by the way, it goes pretty deep over there. So you need not just long, but also wide table. And I have a Logitech. Logitech, in my experience, much better than Razer. Comes with some plastic that we're gonna take off. And then some more over here. Unfortunately, I've just figured that my video card does not support this resolution. So uh, I'll have to use a lower one. It lets me use 3840 by 1080p. And, um, at least I get 120 hertz. I will have to change a video card to get uh, the native, the, the best resolution for this monitor. This is how it looks. Turned on. Now I'm gonna try to figure how to divide the screen into several see how it works i'm using this screen split into three as you can see easy setting box that's the program i chose to split into three so at the same time uh let me close it you can watch don lemon cooking you can uh check her like uh, some youtube stuff and uh listen to Candy shop, 50 cent. It's a very good song, you know, like, I take you to the candy shop. I let you lick my lollipop, you know. It's a good song, very good one. And uh, you see, and this guy is cooking and like, you can like, you know, learn to cook like Don Let's Lemon. say you want to open uh, some new window. So we're going to open a different browser. And here we have a new window here. Uh, and it opens... Uh, on the same place where it used to be open. So if we if we fold it back, right? So fold it back like this, we have this back here. And for example, if you want to move uh, uh, this window with hyenas, right? So you just like hold over here and then, uh, and then the program pops up over here. And then let's say you wanna in the middle, or you want like instead of Don Lemon, Boom, and we have hyenas instead of Don Lemon. Easy, right? So, um, there are probably better programs than this, but uh, this one was kind of simple, and uh, uh, right now I'm using that one. See? It's Lollipop, right? If you're looking to play some old games, or games that uh, don't support the double screen, like this one, it's a game from like 90s, right? So you'll see this black on the sides and uh, the game itself is on the middle. And pretty much the same way if you wanna watch some uh, uh, video, right? So this video is in this format, so you see in it like that, and you have like this black on the sides. And this right? game actually supports the widescreen. So as we can see, we have like a big, big view like this, right? 
So we can kind of benefit from this in, in games. In some games, in some it's just more about the view and the way you like to see it. But it's kind of cool to be honest with you. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.